until you die. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> I wonder if my insurance covers this. Oh, I don't see why not, if it covers acts of God. <laughs> this was the devil, Bert. I'm sure I'd have a terrific chance of collecting if I told the insurance company the devil did this. <laughs> Major, what are you doing? I'm building a bunker, Colonel. Why are you building a bunker? Meaning no disrespect, sir, but what in the hell do you mean? Why am I building a bunker? We don't need a bunker. Are we pulling out? <laughs> Carry on, Major. Right. Did you ever think that maybe it isn't the devil? Who might it be, Bert? A practical joker? <laughs> Aliens. You mean Mexicans? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. People from another planet. Visitors from out of space. Bert, go read a comic book. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to help you, moron. Help? With flying saucers? You had an exorcism, not the planetarium, you idiot. Oh, yeah, well, we no, no, really? How about idiot? <laughs> yeah, well, UFOs happen to be a scientific fact, or don't you read the papers, plastic puss? Don't, please. Well, oh, I love it. Scientific facts from the impotent, invisible loon. Yeah, well, I'd rather be a loon than an embezzling, lecherous killer. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sure around you, the devil feels right at home. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of my house. Hey, no fine. Hey. Oh, it's okay. Mary. Oh. Sorry, Jessica. I wanted to help. Good night, Corinne. Good night, Eunice. Good night, Melonhead. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? How was it up there? How was it? He's as fresh as a daisy. Look at me. You look terrible. So do you. Tim needs two more people to help up there. Forget it. I ain't getting that. I ain't getting dinner. And I ain't getting any younger. Hi. Oh, Jody, come in. I got a message on my service to come right over. What happened to your living room? Did Benson quit? <laughs> no, Jody. It's the baby. He's possessed. Come on, there's no such thing. <laughs> it's only in the movies, possessed. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that, a fruit fly. <laughs> my power, for I am the prince of darkness, the power of evil. Get up, accept me, or die. Come on, Chester. We have to go help Tim. <laughs> Did the devil make Chester disappear? No, fear made Chester disappear. <laughs> Mary? Uh... Excuse me, uh, while you're up there, would you apologize for me? <laughs> and ask him to put me down gently. <laughs> All right, you pig, now you're gonna die. You must be looking for Mel. I'm oh, sorry, did I hurt you? Oh, it's all right. Who are you? Who are you? I asked you first. Well, yeah, but I'm the one that's got the gun. Oh, good point. Millie. All right, Millie. Where's Mel? Oh, he should be here shortly. Why? I'm going to kill him. He's in Bolivia. I thought you just said he should be here shortly. No, I said he should be here, shorty. But, uh, as you can see, he's not. He's in Bolivia, sinuses. I'll wait. Sit down. What do you want to kill him for? Because he killed my wife. Oh, he didn't mean to kill him, Mr. Horowitz. Please believe me. <laughs> Horowitz? No. Dallas. Oh, that wife. Oh, he didn't mean to kill her either. I swear it. Hiya, baby. Oh, Mel! 
Who are you? I'm the guy whose wife you killed. Mr. Horowitz? No, no, the other one. Ah. All right, sucker. How do you want it? In the back? Or maybe you want to watch? Oh, God, please, don't kill me, please. I didn't mean to kill her. I didn't mean to. Please, dear God, have pity. No. <laughs> Shot the chair mill. I can't kill you. I don't believe it, but I can't. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, no, no, thank you. <clears throat> hey, Millie. Millie. Oh, oh. Hey, Mil yo, Millie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't kill you, because that would mean I'm no different than you are. And I am. You're going to jail, buddy, for the rest of your life. And if by some miscarriage of justice, one of these bleeding heart parole boards sets you free, I'll see you again. You, give me the phone. OK. Here. <laughs> nice work, baby. Now what do we do? Kill him. of you to invite me to tea, Reverend Sung. I feel honored. Billy, we just want you to know that we're extremely pleased with your progress. Thank you, Reverend. Lisa, is this mint tea? No, Reverend Sung. I hate mint tea. This isn't mint tea. This isn't mint tea what? This isn't mint tea, Father. I love all things, except I hate mint tea. I see. Billy, I feel that you're ready for your indoctrination. Oh? For three days and three nights, you'll be intensely trained by our staff. Sort of like a crash course, is that it? Oh, no, no, no. By the end of your drilling period, your mind will be finally disciplined to accept and to send forward the edicts of the church. Are we talking mind control? Oh, Billy. Or is brainwashing a better word? Brainwashing? Brainwashing? Do you think I actually wash people's brains? <laughs> well, I mean, it sounded like you were saying... Cleansing, maybe. <laughs> now, cleansing of the mind leads to a purification of the body. And then you'll be free to accept Reverend Sung's doctrines. Is your name Reverend Sung? I beg your pardon, Father. I believe Billy was talking to me. I'm very sorry. Fifty kurtayas, Lisa. Kurtaya, kurtaya. To yourself, Lisa. <laughs> well, thanks again for the tea. I'd better be going. Going? Oh, yeah, see, it's nearly six. We eat at six. We? Yeah, me and my family. We are all your family now, Billy. Oh, yeah, I know, but I mean my real family, my mother and my father. I am your father. Right, well, uh, see you around, Dad. <laughs> I'm afraid you're just not ready to deal with outside influences yet, Billy. I thought you liked being with us. With you? I like being with you. Don't worry, Billy. After your indoctrination, you won't want to leave us. Look, you're wasting your time with my mind. I have a very strong will. I can't be brainwashed, really. Many have tried, and all have failed. See? Don't touch me. I can't stand that. There are two things I can't stand. Touching and mint tea. <laughs> all right. OK. I don't want to say it, but you give me no choice. I'm from the CIA. <laughs> and if I don't check in tonight, this place is going to be swarming with feds. You've been warned. Take it or leave it. I guess you're leaving it. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, I have a better idea. Count to ten real slow. Wait, wait. I exercise the ruler of hell to leave the body of this child. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. I beseech and command the most wicked dragon to depart from this house. Lord, hear our prayer. The Almighty will burn up my enemies on every side. We expel thee. Lord, hear our prayer. The Almighty approaches quickly and his enemies will be destroyed. I exclude thee. Who's next? It's all right. He landed in a swimming pool. Accept me now. Do not resist any longer because you cannot succeed. Your soul is mine for eternity. I am one. Give up and come to me. We will.
will never give up. Never. There is not a man or a spirit in this world or any other that will break my family. We've lived through too much in our lives already to give it all up to you. We've lived through sorrow and separation and death and destruction. And we're still together because we love each other. And love is what holds us together. So, if you intend to stay, we will fight you to the end. And let me tell you, we will fight. And with God's help, you will never have us. And you will never have this baby. Never. You have come to the wrong house. I don't know, maybe I never saw a spaceship. I mean, I've been here, what? Jeez, eight hours now, nothing. <laughs> Except, I mean, why come back again to the same spot? I mean, why land here again in empty field, Connecticut? I mean, they could land in Paris, see a few girls. <laughs> I probably never saw it. It was probably just my imagination. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what if I'm getting crazy again? I'm talking to myself here. That's a sign. <laughs> well, all right, come on. Come on. I'm not crazy. I mean, if I was crazy, I wouldn't think I was crazy. So I'm not crazy. <sighs> I might not be crazy, but waiting around here for a spaceship is definitely not sane. Oh, God, what's the matter with me? What's the matter with me? What's the matter with this whole family? I mean, all right, I mean, I'm here waiting for visitors from Mars. They're all home performing an exorcism on my nephew because he's possessed. <laughs> so, it's a nice group. <laughs> my brother-in-law, he, he murders my son, loses his memory, disappears. He's reported dead. He comes back to life. <laughs> Billy's with the sonnies. Eunice loves a killer. <laughs> Danny's wife gets kidnapped and killed, and now he's out looking for the killers, and Jody, poor Jody, gets jilted, ends up, he moves in with a girl. She's gay. Mary, I almost lose Mary for good, and if I lose my mind, I'm definitely going to lose her. What a life. What else could possibly happen here? I said, what do you... 